We go forward on our quest to bring you all across to the finish line to victory in November. We listen to the needs of all Vermonters in every corner of our state. With the close of a highly contested Democratic primary, the focus shifts to November with gubernatorial candidate Sue Minter topping the ticket. This campaign was won town by town and person by person, and it's not a political strategy for me. This is how I lead. A call for a debate by the Democrats setting their intention of having an issue-based election. Lieutenant Governor Scott, you cannot say you're going to cut $45 million from the state budget without offering an example of what you would cut. Too many Vermonters really are struggling just to make ends meet. So we are going to be focusing on growing economic opportunity. We're going to be focused on creating great livable communities for livable wage jobs where more young people can live and stay in Vermont. And we're going to focus on protecting our environment, cleaning up Lake Champlain, making sure we have clean drinking water and a clean green energy economy. Nominee Senator Patrick Leahy chose the unity rally to send a stern warning to GOP presidential nominee Donald Trump. We have a Republican nominee who has dodged the draft, he's dodged the truth on his income tax returns, he's dodged the um, charitable contributions he claims to make, but mostly and most frighteningly, he wants to dodge the Constitution. Let me tell you, as long as I'm in the U.S. Senate, this man, nobody, is going to dodge the Constitution of our country. In Burlington, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.